Whether you're getting it from traditional education or on the internet, everybody is telling you how to budget, to budget more, and to focus on budgeting. Now budgeting is not a bad thing, but in today's video I want to explain to you why I actually like to spend more money, not budget my income. Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Patrick Kenny. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to have you here. If you're new around here, what we do is we teach people how to make money from the internet. And in today's video, I want to talk about why you should actually be spending more money. Before we do talk about it though, be sure to click that like button and also click that subscribe button to be notified for upcoming videos. If you click that little notification bell, it'll actually alert you directly on your cell phone if you have the YouTube app. Now, in today's video, I want to talk about spending more money. And this might seem counterintuitive to a lot of you because a lot of you guys probably have heard budget, budget, budget. But in today's video, I want to explain to you why I believe you should be spending more, not budgeting. Now, I'm gonna give you an action plan to do this. So, number one, I'm assuming that you have some sort of job or business that is producing out into the open income for you to use at your discretion. Whether that's 100,000 a year, whether that's 20,000 a year, I'm assuming that you have something over here to work with. Now, a lot of you guys that are on this channel, maybe 100% of you are probably interested in starting a business. And I provided videos teaching you what businesses to start, what I think is best at all levels of income. And so for this video sake, we're gonna pretend that you have a business. So this is your business. Again, you can substitute this as a job if you will, but in today's video, we're gonna talk about this as your business. Now your business creates your income and your income comes into you and it goes directly into your bank account. So this is the handy dandy bank. Now when it goes into the bank, this is when you need to make decisions. Number one, I want you guys to get in the habit of having a plan. A, a future road, if you will, of three to six months, okay? Three to six months of income producing just in case of emergencies. So if it costs you $3,000 a month to live, that's your rent, food, insurance, everything else involved, $3,000 a month to live, then you would need at least nine to $18,000 saved in that account. I am assuming that you have already done this. I'm assuming that this has already happened for you. If it hasn't, make sure this happens beforehand. Now, once that is saved, this is where it gets interesting because when we go down here, you have this money, it's put away, so now that ends. Now what do you do? So many things can come about. You could go buy that new pair of shoes, you could get that new car, you could go on that vacation, all these sort of things. And by spend more money, I don't exactly mean that. What I mean is if it is sitting in your bank, which a lot of people love to do, they love to save, save, save. So here's your bank again. You have all this money in here and you're just saving it. You've got your rainy day fund, but you're just sitting on that cash. Understand that an average bank account doesn't even get you a percent annual yield. And so if you're sitting on a 1% annual yield in your bank account, say you have $100,000 sitting in that account, at the end of one year, you're gonna have $101,000. You made $1,000 by having it sit in your bank account. Now, understand that the growth of the economy as a whole is two to 3% a year. Meaning that the value of your money is depreciating going down two to 3% per year. So your $100,000 today will be worth $98,000 next year this time. Meaning if you just have money sitting in your bank account, it is doing you no good. You are not making money. This is where my point comes. You need to spend this money and try to make this zero. How do you do that? You find assets, okay? And assets don't come in the form of just say real estate or a business producing income. It comes in the form of write-offs, investing in yourself, going to that mastermind, going to that coaching session, to that networking event, buying that camera for your business, 
Spend this money, especially if you run a business because this is all what? Deductible. You can deduct this. Spend the money. The money is useless unless it's spent. You have three to six months saved up. You're good. Something goes wrong, you're fine. You've got this saved. What are you gonna do with the money coming in? It is absolutely useless sitting in your bank account. Go out and get an asset. Go find a rental property. Go out and get a new business. Go invest into an e-commerce store. Go out and invest in your brand. Get that camera. Get that drone. Buy that office. Rent that place out. Do what you have to do. Get your tax liability down at the same time, but also expand your business. The ones that aren't afraid to spend money, make money. And we are being taught this day and age in school and on YouTube that we need a budget, we need a budget, we need a budget, we need to, we need to cower up. You need to be able to spend more money. You need to be able to put that money out there and realize that money is like soldiers. And when we have this all working, the more money you make, the more money you collect, or the more soldiers you have. Now think about it this way. If you are a person that is running a military and you're in charge, you're commanding everybody, Say you have 100,000 soldiers, AKA $100,000. Are you going to win that battle by having the soldiers sit at home? No, you have to send them out to war. Some wars you're gonna send them out and they're all gonna come back and they're gonna come back with what you want. They're gonna come back with more, a return on your investment. Sometimes you're gonna send those soldiers out and only 80,000 of them are gonna come back. Sometimes you're gonna send them out and a huge home run comes in, but you have to send them out in order to know. You guys need to get in the habit of spending more money. This has been Patrick Kenny, a great video to watch. Hope you enjoyed it. Click the like and subscribe button if you haven't already and let me know in the comments section what you think. I'll see you guys on the next one.